Thank you, Dennis. We have a breaking news update now on that deadly Amtrak crash. Officials now accounting for all 243 passengers and crew on board that train in Philadelphia. A cadaver dog found an eighth body in the wreckage of one of the passenger cars. Investigators are now trying to figure out whether the crash was caused by human error, mechanical problems, or maybe both. NTSB officials say the train was going 106 miles per hour in a 50 mile per hour zone before that crash. So the big question still unanswered. Why was the engineer going more than twice the speed limit around such a dangerous curve? ABC Action News reporter Adam Weiner spoke exclusively to a man here in Tampa who used to work on that same train. And he says he has a theory on what happened. We do go through the training on how to evacuate the train. But I mean, in that instance, when things happen in a split second, I can only imagine that it was mass chaos. When the images started coming in of the damage in Philly, Michael Callanan thought something seemed very wrong. My take on the whole thing is there had to be impact on the window to get that kind of damage. Callanan says he used to work on that train as a conductor, the guy who takes your ticket. And he says the engineer who actually operates the train should know better than to speed in that section of track. I'm hearing from coworkers, and this is only speculation and on social media, that um, a brick may have been thrown at the train. And that's why it was thrown into 105, 106 miles an hour, because he had his hand on the throttle, and that's why this may have occurred. It's just a theory, he admits, but having worked that route, he finds it to be plausible. We have had our train stoned before. I mean, all, all kinds of stuff happens on the Northeast Corridor. In his experience, kids sometimes throw rocks and bricks at trains in places like Baltimore and Philadelphia. Michael Callanan says Amtrak doesn't let inexperienced drivers operate on that busy Northeast Corridor. And while he doesn't know this engineer personally, he says colleagues tell him he's a good engineer and likely knew those tracks and those turns very well. From what I'm hearing from coworkers is, um, He's a very good engineer and there, there would be no reason for him to intentionally speed in that manner to cause this kind of accident. Either way, Callanan says he'll be paying close attention to the outcome of the investigation. In Tampa, Adam Weiner, ABC Action News.